Hi, today we will be sharing on how to use serial number module in SQL. If your nature of business is rated to few such as handful reseller or computer reseller, SQL may help you to keep track of your item by serial number. Serial number is a feature which allows you to keep track each unique product out of the same item. Now, I will show you how to enable the serial number in SQL. You will first have to go stock, maintain stock item to edit your item. And if this is a serial number item, make sure you have to check on serial number and click on save. Now, let's proceed to purchase, purchase invoice. Click on new to select your supplier and to select your serial number item. Click on the arrow down key. There's three methods for you to insert your serial number. For first method will be click on the plus button to manually enter. Let's say 1234, enter, 1235, enter, and 1236. And for second method will be import. You can key in all your serial number in a text file and click on import. Now let's try to key a few serial number in a text file. Let's say 1122 enter, 1123 enter, and 1124 enter, and so on. Let's click on import to select the text file. Done. Click on OK. And as you can see, all the serial number have import successfully. Now, I will show you the last method. Last method will be generated. It will auto-generate by system. You can set your format, let's say, 5 digit, or I wish to have only 4 digit, and I wish to start with SN. So I can just type SN dash. So as you can see, the sample will be SN dash with 4 digit. You can enter your start number. Let's say I wish to start on 4567 and to have 10 units of serial number. So system will start from 4567 and for 10 units, just click on OK. So as you can see, all the serial number have auto-generate by system. Just click on save. Now let's proceed to sales invoice. New to select your customer, to select your serial number item, and to click on the arrow down key to press on the add. All the balance serial number will be show out. You have to check on which serial number will be issued to your customer. Just click on OK and save. Now I will show you four report which is related to serial number. First report will be stock, print stock physical worksheet. To select any item, click on apply, click on preview and select your serial number. As you can see for Apple iPhone 5, this balance 13 unit and all the 13 unit serial number will be show out. For second report will be stock, print stock serial number conflict. This report will show out any serial number item issue out without receiving the serial number. It will also allow you to check any duplicate serial number received at the same location or same batch for the same item. Let's click on apply. As you can see, there is no conflict or no duplicate serial number. Now. Let's do an example to issue out a serial number without receiving. Select customer and select your item to key in to key in an invalid serial number without receiving the serial number and save. Now let's try to apply again 
print stock serial number conflict so as you can see there's a conflict invalid serial number for the third report i will show you is stock print stock serial number outstanding this report will show any serial number item issue or received with blank serial number let's say for pi triple zero three two there is an empty serial number let's go to purchase invoice to double click the purchase invoice and as you can see there is no serial number insert for this serial number item for the last report i will show is inquiry serial number inquiry this report will show you all the serial number movement to avoid issue an invalid serial number or a duplicate serial number or receive any serial number item without key in the serial number you can do a few settings in maintain user click on more access control go to stop make sure you have to tick on always match quantity with serial number so that system will not allow you to save if there is a serial number item without enter serial number and allow non-assistant or duplicate serial number make sure it's untick so that system will not allow you to key in any non-assisting serial number or any duplicate serial number Press on save. That's all for today. Thank you.